So I, I may not seem like the learning type, hey? Like people question my ability to chew food. But like, mate, my highest education, you know, I'm not joking, it's first class honors in jazz philosophy. Stop laughing, it's my life! To say I'm pretty keen on the drums is an understatement, mate, and low-key, like, these last 18 months, like, see, I've been putting together, like, like, a drum museum, mate, with the express purpose of, like, sharing how cool the drums are, and because, like, drum history doesn't make any sense. One of my grandest schemes, mate, is trying to put together symbols of my heroes, but, like, in this noble quest, mate, it's my disappointment to tell you that I got scooped. They scooped me good, mate. So one of me big heroes, mate, is John Bonham from Led Zepp, hey? And I was trying to put together a big bag of discs from all of his era, mate. But it's my privilege to ruin your afternoon as I explain the difference between Black Label and Red Label Peisty 2002s. Yay! Peisties are awesome, mate. You listen to Slipknot, you've heard Peisties. Mate, you listen to System Over Down, mate, you've heard Peisties. And back in the 60s and 70s, mate, old mate John Bonham played Peisties. Bonzo played Peisty 2002s. That's what they're called, mate, and they're still making them to this day. And people will argue that the only thing that's changed over time is the ink stamp. Because look, I've got a pair right here. In the 70s, mate, they use a black label, and in the 80s and onwards to today, they use a red label, mate. The serial numbers are heaps easy to read. First number is the year of the decade it was made, mate. Look, black label, 78. Red label, 85. In the 90s, they went to eight numbers, and the first two tell you, this one's 9097, and now they use lasers. But suss this, you grommets. Look, mate, these two are the same symbol. Both of them are Pisces 2002 22-inch ride symbols. So if it's only the ink that's different, they should sound the same. They don't sound the same. You notice the 80s one's high pitched? It's cause it's thicker, mate. All cymbals got thicker in the 80s. The drums even got bigger for the decade. What other instrument gets bigger for 10 years and goes back to normal? And then like, look at the hammering, hey. The 70s hammering is heaps light and even. And then like the 80s one, mate, they just went like full Thor's hammer on it. What I'm trying to build up here, mate, is like, people are pretty doughy about these Black Label 2002s, hey. Because if you want this sound, you got to find a vintage boy. I've been into vintage drums for like 15 years, mate. And check this, look, it's Bonzo's endorsement receipt or something. Good luck finding giant beats anymore, but I've got quite a few of these. Except for this, the 24-inch 2002 ride. 24 inches is huge. Huge means expensive, and expensive means no one bought these, which means there are very few of these on the planet. And mate, the backflip I attempted and nearly broke my spine when I found one of these. Oh, mate, look, black label, 24 inch, yippee kaye. This thing is in stinking awful condition. <laughs> look at it. I mean, this symbol's from the 70s too, and it looks stinking brand new. But mate, that's 50 years of use for you. It, you know, it all lines up. And like, mate, when I first got this, I was super busy with other stuff and didn't even question its genuineness that I just literally put it in the bag with the other vintage ones and called it a day. But like, mate, now we're experts at dating 2002 symbols, hey? So let's, let's take a gander at her, mate. I mean, she's got the black stamps. That's it, mate. It's end the story. Why does the serial number have eight numbers? Oh, two! That would mean 2002! Oh, guys! Turns out in 2002, as a special re-edition, they just took their regular modern symbols and, and stamped black stamps on them, and, and that's what this is! 02 means 2002! It's not a bad condition vintage symbol! It's an absolutely thrash modern one! Oh, man, I got scooped big time! <laughs> And, and like, how did I get scooped, mate? Well, because it was sold to me as a vintage 70s 24. <laughs> and I might have played multiple times the value of what this thing's really worth. And I might have waited so long before actually checking that I couldn't get a refund anymore. <laughs> It sounds awesome, don't get me wrong, mate. 24s that have that big low pitch to it. But it saddens me, mate, that like an actual vintage 70s one 
would be even more lower pitched because as I showed you they're, they're thicker now than they used to be and John Bonham was famous as using his rides as a crash and now I'm learning that's how he got away with it because they were thinner modern ones don't sound the same that's why I'm super mad because I thought I had the real thing and I don't have the real thing so like the moral story of collecting mate is like do the book work first like not only does it help you not get scooped like this but you can actually find like genuine treasures mate suss this symbol hey it's a Zildjian from like the 1890s mate yeah, 1890s. I recognise that stamp. I know what that means. And someone was selling it online, mate, and it was listed as old symbol. I got it for 200 bucks. Someone on Reverb sold one of these for about two grand. So I guess it all balances out. But I'm like still super mad.